Let me tell a tale to you about a man whose arm bore the rose tattoo. He lived his life on the rail, always one step ahead of the bull and in and out of jail. From an ordinary life he fled with a guitar, a bindle, and a dream in his head, the slow rolling boxcar became his bed. Of people and places he wanted to learn, all the while the mountains of Utah did he yearn. Songs and stories poured from his mind, songs and stories to the rest of us we are blind. Songs of the worker, songs of the poor, songs of the tragedies of war. Stories of Big Bill, Mother Jones, and his elders before. Songs and stories steeped in folklore. Now who is this knight of the rail, you may ask? And to tell you in mere words is no easy task. Utah, bowtie, organizer, philosopher of life would all suffice. But of these accolades and moniker, I'll not bother. I simply call this man my father. Thank you. Scott? How are you, Duncan? I'm good. How are you? Thanks for having me here. Good. For those of you who don't know, this is Duncan Phillips. And who's his famous dad? Utah Phillips. Bruce Phillips. Some people know him as Bruce, some as Utah. It depends who you're talking to. Everybody knows him a little differently. That's the unique thing about my father. You know, people take a great pride in knowing him as Utah, some people as Bruce, and everybody knows him a little bit differently. Which, you know, I do too, so. Well, we're, we're really pleased to have you here. Now, the question is, is where's Mark? Uh, Mark, um, I think we outsourced him. He's, he's in China. Yeah, I, I, I think he must be traveling China like he was during that, that prior episode. Yeah, so I got to fill in for him. I really appreciate that. and see if I can, it's big shoes to fill, but we'll try. Well, uh, we appreciate you being here. This is a special show, and we want to uh, be sure and thank IAMA for making this show possible. I am a here because I am a... <laughs> Let's give him a hand. So, you know, there was always two things that my father wanted to see me do. One was to get arrested. I should tell you my life was a little bit different than most people's. And the other one was to perform on stage. Um, you know, sadly, he passed away in 2008 before he could see me do either one. But the night's still young, so we'll see what happens. And, you know, I, I got together with my father <clears throat> in 2000 after decades apart. And I know it's hard to believe that, you know, I, didn't, I wasn't a part of the family business, as Dad put it. He always wanted me to accompany and play guitar and, and join him on stage. But I didn't learn to play guitar and sing until after he passed away. You know, when a father or a parent passes away, most kids, they, they think of inheriting maybe a car, house, money, land, some of those material trappings in the world. But what I inherited, we inherited together. I inherited this guitar, Dad's old Road Worn Guild, 68 Guild, and I inherited songs and stories of people and places from the 40 years and 2 million miles of travel to my father on the road. So we all inherited those things together. And after he passed away, I was trying to, now that I had my inheritance, trying to figure out what to do next. You know, we, we'd spent decades apart, so I was trying to figure out a way to make sense of all that. And so I decided to learn to play guitar and learn to perform. And in about 2005, after being on the road with my father, for Christmas one year, I um, wrote him a spoken word piece, a poem, and put it on a Christmas card and mailed it off to him. And he always carried that Christmas card with him in his guitar case. And when I'd go pick him up in the winter to go on the road with him, he'd pull it out and he'd say, well, let's try to put a tune to this. I want you to sing it with me when we go out on the road. But, you know, I just couldn't make myself get on stage and do this. You know, as part of it as being a kid and learning to perform and sing, it would be learning to do one of the things that kept my father away from me for so many years. So I just couldn't do it. <laughs> now that he's gone, it's about all I do, all I worry about doing. But after he passed away, I found that old Christmas card that I had mailed to him that he carried with him. And I decided it was time to finally put a tune to that song and, and share it with people. So I'll play it for you now. Then when I'm done, I'll bring a couple other friends up on stage to join me and we'll get on with the show. 
Now this boy's a leaving. I ain't coming back. Gonna flip me a dasser and roll on down your track. There's no work to be found, so I've heard it said. But I don't need no bosses to keep my my belly fed. Now I'm long gone, so long, so long I'm gone. Now I'm strumming this here flat top across our great land. Chicago, Illinois, to the streets of Old Spokane. When I flopped out in Portland, those sisters took me in. The Catholic workers know being hungry, it ain't no sin. Now I'm long gone, so long. So long, I'm gone. Now folks, the question I get asked most often about my father is why did he leave Utah? And the truth of the matter is, when I was four or five years old, I was the one that ran away from home. But you see, it was all that damn guitar playing and hootenanny and I just couldn't get any sleep. So I got my bindle out of my hobo toy box and I put my coveralls on and I started piping the stem. It was my father who spent the next 40 years of his life crisscrossing the country looking for me. Well, I steamed into Utah, green and feeling blue, and I got me a couple wives and a red a roast head too. You know what long came Hammond, he turned my world around In the soul of a soldier, a pacifist was found And I'm long gone, so long, so long, I'm gone And boys, I don't need nothing but the moon and the stars. I'm gonna live out my life top of this here old boxcar. And someday when the good Lord, well, he calls my mark or do, won't you spread my ashes amongst the folks that I once knew? Cause this foe's a living, I ain't coming back. Gonna flip me a dasser and roll on down your track and I'm long gone so long so long I'm gone I'm long gone so long so long I'm gone so long folks so long boys so long, I'm gone. Thanks. Thank you. Now, you know, I, I do make a few mistakes when I play guitar, but you see, no matter where I go, there's always a few people that come to shows, and that's all they look for is mistakes. And I like to play to everybody, so those, those they're in there for you guys. <laughs> well, I got a couple of friends with me. Let me bring them up on stage, and we'll get... You know, what we do is kind of like a traveling folk show. I remember Jim Ringer and Kate, Kate Wolf used to travel with my father, and Jim, he'd always say that what they did was a traveling folk show, that they'd just take turns swapping songs and sitting on stage together. So I'd like to take this opportunity to bring up... My good friends, Kate McLeod and Gentry Watson. So as I started this journey down the road to folk music stardom, one of the good 
fortunes I had was to meet Kate McLeod, and she helped me produce the tribute CD for my father. So it's a best friend in trouble anybody could ever have, my friend Kate <laughs> McLeod. Hi. <laughs> Well, I'm going to sing uh, the song Nevada Jane. This is based on the union organizer, Big Bill, and his wife, Nevada Jane. She was uh, injured in a horse riding accident and couldn't walk, but um, you'll hear about that in this song. It's a lovely song. Here we go. All the linens turned down in folds of glowing white Are you lying there alone again tonight? He's marching again in the cold November rain You know he'll come back home, Nevada Jane And when he stumbles in with blood upon his shirt Washing off alone just to hide the hurt He'll lie down by your side And wake you with your name You'll hold him in your arms Nevada Jane Have you seen the way he holds her As though she was a bride Children riding on his shoulders Strong and wide She never thought to scold him Or even to complain And Big Bill always loved Nevada Jane Nevada Jane went riding Her pony took a fall The doctor says she never Would walk again at all But Bill could lightly lift her With big hands rough and plain Would gently carry home Nevada Jane the storms of Colorado rained for ten long years. The mines of old Montana were filled with blood and tears. California, Arizona, oh, and Utah heard the name of the man who always loved Nevada Jane. Have you seen the way he holds her as though she was a bride? Children riding on his shoulders strong and wide She never thought to scold him or even to complain And Big Bill always loved Nevada Jane But now the ranks are scattered like leaves upon the breeze And with him go the memories of harder times than these some things never change They always stay the same Just like the way Bill loved Nevada Jane Have you seen the way he holds her As though she was a bride Children riding on his shoulders Strong and wide She never thought to scold him Or even to complain Always love Nevada Jane Have you seen the way he holds her As though she was a bride Children riding on his shoulders Strong and wide Now, you notice we take turns passing Dad's old guitar around a little bit. You know, it's kind of like the folk singer Stanley Cup. It's always fun to sit around and share it with my friends and people and let them play Dad's guitar. And when we were working on the tribute CD, it was really important to try and bring Dad's music to a younger generation, which Ani had already introduced a younger generation. When I was on the road with my father and we'd be in the lobby and he'd, he'd see younger people in the audience and in the lobby, he'd nudge me on the shoulder and say, hey, those are Ani's people. And he was always very proud of the relationship and the friendship with Ani DeFranco. 
So as we worked on the tribute CD, it was really important to Kate and I to try and bring some younger people on board. And one of them I was a pleasure to meet and get to know better was Gentry Watson. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so I'm going to do a song called Jesse's Corrito. Thanks, by the way, Duncan. I'm really honored to be here with you all. And um, this song is written about a, a 16-year-old boy named uh, Jesse Garcia who was sentenced to death uh, when he was 16 years old. And uh, he ended up, he, he came from a you know, really broken background, was never really given a, a fair chance in life. And he ended up being pardoned from the death sentence um, because the judge ruled that he wasn't intelligent enough to really understand what was going on. But um, he, they did sentence him to solitary confinement. And in the solitary confinement, he was actually educated and ended up being really intelligent and learning a lot. And so, um, so he was finally given a chance and, and was able to learn. And this song is about Jesse. <laughs> I'll play one more. We'll go through once more, and then we'll uh, bring some other friends up on stage. So I got this little guitar to travel on the road because traveling and flying with Dad's guitar, some people didn't think it was such a good idea. I call it Diana. Uh, my mother's name was Diana. And when people talk about getting back together again with my father, 
the only way it could have really been made possible was because of my mother. You know, when people separate, a lot of things can happen to the children. Parents can instill a lot of bitter, bitterness and different emotions in them. But my mother didn't do any of that. She left the door wide open, so when I wanted to get back together with my father, I could. Now, I don't know why my father wrote the song or what into, went into it, but I have, I have some idea. I'm walking through your town in the snow I'm walking through your town in the snow I've got no place to go All the trains are running slow And I'm walking through your town in the snow It's getting late and all the bars are closed it's getting late and all the bars are closed I'm so cold I can't think I can really use a drink And I'm walking through your town in the snow Don't these little winter towns all look the same How these little winter towns all look the same now the prairie wind does blow When the mission doors are closed And I'm walking through your town in the snow I carry my home on my back I carry my home on my back But the police always frown Every time I lay it down and I'm walking through your town in the snow There's some fellas jungled up by the yard There's some fellas jungled up by the yard Well, they're cooking up down there But I've nothing left to share And I'm walking through your town in the snow Maybe I could rustle up a job Yeah, maybe I could rustle up a job But there's nothing I can do My best working days are through And I'm walking through your town in the snow I don't ever think I'll find a way back home don't ever think I'll find a way back home I can see my golden years Shining through these frozen tears And I'm walking through your town in the snow I'm walking through your town in the snow I'm walking through your town in the snow I've got no place to go All the trains are running slow And I'm walking through your town in the snow I'm walking through your town in the snow Thanks. Kate McLeod, everybody. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm going to sing The Orphan Train. This is one of my favorite songs that we recorded on Long Gone. It's based on the true story of the orphan train which ran across the country and trying to find homes for orphaned children. Many children had a fresh start that way. This is what this song is about. Once I had a darling mother, though I can't recall her name I had a baby brother who I'll never see again For the children's home 
his Santa's hell on the orphan tree to try to find someone to take us in. I have stolen from the poor box and I have begged the city streets. I've swapped the bars and pool rooms for a little bite to eat in my daddy's old green jacket and these rags upon my feet i've been looking for someone to take me in take us in we have rolled the orphan train take us in we need a home we need a name take us in oh won't you be our kin we are looking for someone to take us in home they gathered us me and all the rest they taught us to sit quietly until the food was blessed then they put us on the orphan train and sent us way out west to try to find someone to take us in the farmers and the families they came from miles around we stood out on the platform of the station in each town And one by one we parted like some living lost and found And one by one we all were taken in Take us in, we have rode the orphan train Take us in, we need a home, we need a name Take us in Looking for someone to take us in There is many a fine doctor or a teacher in your school There's many a fine preacher who can teach the golden rule Who started out an orphan sleeping in the freezing rain Whose life began out on the orphan train Take us in, we have rolled the orphan chain. Take us in, we need a home, we need a name. Take us in, oh, won't you be our kin? We are looking for someone. Take us in, we have rolled the orphan chain. Take us in, we need a home, we need a name. You know, Dad's idea of folk music was to create a song and let it kind of disappear out there that nobody really knew who wrote it or where it came from. The song Gentry is going to do, Green Rolling Hills of West Virginia. After he wrote it, my dad was traveling back east again, and he pulled up behind a car, and a bumper sticker said, The Green Rolling Hills of West Virginia, the nearest place to heaven that I know. Had no reference to where that quote came from. And my dad said, no, that's folk music. It's on there, it's out there, but nobody knows where it came from. <laughs> the green rolling hills of West Virginia Are the nearest place to heaven that I know Though the times are sad and drear, I cannot linger here. They will keep me and never let me go. My daddy said, don't never be a miner. A miner's grave is all you'll ever own. Never have a dime. But the green rolling hills of West 
West Virginia are the nearest place to heaven that I know Though the times are sad and drear I cannot linger here They will keep me and never let me go I'll move away into some crowded city In a northern factory town you'll find me there And though I leave my heart behind I'll never change my mind For this troubled life is more than I can bear And the green rolling hills of West Virginia Are the nearest place to heaven that I know Though the times are sad and drear I cannot linger here They will keep me and never let me go Though the times are sad and drear I cannot linger here they will keep me and never let me go. They will keep me and never let me go. They will keep me and never let me go. Well, this portion of the show will bring up a couple of the friends to join us on stage and swap out our moving parts, all right? Uh, it's a pleasure for me to introduce three good friends up on stage now. Paul Rasmussen took guitar lessons from my father when he was a boy. I hope that doesn't date you. I'm sorry. Miss Anka Summerhill, my good friend Doug Winch. Thanks, you guys, for joining us. Well, it's a great honor to, to uh, play this old guitar. As uh, Duncan said, his, uh, this was, guitar was passed down to him by his father. Unfortunately, Duncan was still on the ladder when the cops showed up. I'm going to do a, a cowboy song that Bruce wrote. That's actually one of my very favorite uh, Utah Phillips songs. It's, uh, it's called The, the Good Night Loving Trail. And the Goodnight Loving Trail was a, one of the cattle trails. Uh, uh, it was pioneered by uh, Captain Charles Goodnight and Oliver Loving, two uh, Civil War veterans uh, in the 1870s. And it was uh, one of the trails by which they would move cattle uh, northward up to the railroad lines uh, for distribution uh, to, the, to the coast. Um, that's the, where the... The, the name comes from, but the song is really about growing old. Uh, it's about being too old and busted up to be a cowboy anymore and, and uh, having to take a job on the chuck line as a cook or, or the old woman, as they used to call them. Too old to wrangle or ride on the swing Beat the triangle and you curse everything If dirt was a kingdom then you'd be the king On the good night trail, on the loving trail Our old woman's lonesome tonight Her French heart blows like a low-balling calf It's a wonder the wind don't tear off your skin Get in there and blow out the light With your snake oil and herbs and your liniments too You can do anything that a doctor can do Except find a cure for your own goddamn stew On the good night trail, on the loving trail Our old woman's lonesome tonight French heart blows like a low balling cap. It's a wonder the wind don't tear off your skin. Get in there and blow out the light.
Well, the cook fire's gone out and the coffee's all gone. The boys are all up and they're raising the dawn. But you're just sitting there lost in a song. On the good night trail, on the loving trail. Our old woman's lonesome tonight. Your French heart blows like a low balling calf. It's a wonder the wind don't tear off your skin. Get in there and blow out the light. Well, I know that someday I'll be just the same. Wearing an apron instead of a name. There's no one can change it, there's no one to blame. Cause the desert's a book written lizards and sage. It's easy to look like an old worn out page. Faded and cracked with the colors of age. On the good night trail, on the loving trail. Our old woman's lonesome tonight. French heart blows like a low balling calf. It's a wonder the wind don't tear off your skin. Get in there and blow out the So for the project uh, Long Gone, Duncan asked me to sing this song called Miner's Lullaby. And the story behind it is that his dad uh, did a lot of traveling to Park City back in the early 70s, I think. And he would spend some time looking around the old shops up there that were abandoned after the silver price went down. And one day he found this little tin uh, and it was attached to a belt clip, and he was really curious as to what this was used for. So he started to ask some people, and people didn't really want to talk to him, or they didn't know about it. And then one day he met a man who uh, knew that this little tin was something that the miners would take to work with them when they went underground. And in this tin they would put some morphine so that they could have a peaceful way out in the case of a mine disaster. And uh, this is called Miner's Lullaby. Once long ago he was handsome and tall, fit to be called to the war. We left our village, family and all, to never return anymore. Now he takes his coat, his bucket and lamp, and whistles away to the cage. Where men young and old from all over the camp Gather in search of a wage Husband, sleep, lay your head back and dream A slow falling leaf born down to the stream Then carried away in the arms of morphine far over the sea My husband and I are Roman in faith though we have a secret to keep If ever his life is taken away then gentle and long will he sleep oh some men pass with family around in linens and blankets 
think it's so clean But there's seldom a miner goes under the ground Without his tin of morphine Husband, sleep, lay your head back and dream A slow falling leaf born down to the street explosion is heard the miners are trapped far below if any survived down there with life I'm certain we never will know although our families have vainly appealed no rescue the tent can be seen our hope for loved ones in the dark earth sealed now lies in a tin of morphine. Husband, sleep, lay your head back and dream. A slow falling leaf born down to the stream, then carried away in the arms of morphine. I'm going to play a tune here that's called um, Look for Me in Butte. And I guess the story goes that uh, Bruce wrote this for his friend Mark Ross, who he uh, described as one of the finest tramps he ever ran, run across. Um, evidently, as the story goes, um, there came a time when the jobs were scarce in Butte, Montana. And that evidently sounded very good to Mark Ross. So off he went to Butte, and uh, this was a little send-off song that Bruce wrote for him. So. As I walk these concrete canyons here in Frisco by the sea, there's lots of room for plutocrats, but no place left for me. The flops have gone to condos, the skids are down the chute, but looking don't cost nothing, boys. So look for me in Butte. I look for me in Butte, Montana, high up on the hill, where it seems that you can live a month on a twenty-dollar bill. Bessie put the kettle on. I've been out on a toot when there's no place left worth looking for. Look for me in Butte. In the Big Rock Candy Mountain, the jungle fires have died. In these piggyback containers, there's no place a bow can ride. The bulls are getting surly, seems they're more inclined to shoot. But I'm tired of being civilized, so look for me in Butte. Look for me in Butte, if you're looking anywhere. Whatever I've been missing here sure bound to happen there. Bessie put the kettle on. I've been out on a toot. When there's no place left worth looking for, look for me in views. And when my life is over, the final race is run. I'll think about the good times and all the things I've done. When I'm packing my last bindle down the Indian Valley route If I can't get into heaven, boys, look for me in Butte Look for me in Butte, where my ragged soul can mend In a world that's full of strangers, you can always find a friend 
Bessie put the kettle on. I've been out on a toot when there's no place left worth looking for. Look for me in Butte. Look for me in Butte, where the mountains touch the stars. I'll be drinking with the miners in the old Helsinki bar. Bessie, put your bonnet on. Let's go out on a toot when there's no place left worth looking for. Look for me in Butte. Bessie, put your bonnet on. Let's go out on a toot when there's no place left worth looking for. Look for me in Butte. Thank you. Well, uh, early on in Bruce's career, he uh, he was booked to play at the Quiet Night in Chicago, uh, and he was a little bit nervous about playing there um, because at the time it was primarily a jazz club. Stan Kenton had had played there the week before, and, and Bruce really didn't see himself as a, a nightclub performer. So he showed up early, about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, went in the, 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 the back door of the stage entrance, and the place was completely dark, except for uh, just a, a bare bulb over the, the, uh, on, the, on the stage, the nightlight. And... Um, he heard this wonderful music, uh, piano music. Um, it was the Moonlight Sonata. And he looked up on stage and, and, and lit by this, this dim light was this old guy sitting there at the piano with this great shock of white hair uh, playing this wonderful music. And, and he just, Bruce just kind of sat back in the shadows and listened to this guy and uh, uh, noticed after a couple of different pieces that the guy played that he only was he was playing with his left hand and he only had one one hand and the other arm was was gone below the elbow and he uh, uh, ended up talking to the guy the guy's name was Eddie Belchowski and Eddie was the janitor at the quiet night but as a young man he had been an aspiring um, classical uh, uh, concert pianist but he had joined the Abraham Lincoln uh, Brigade in uh, uh, the Spanish Civil War and, and gone over to Spain and lost his arm fighting Franco's uh, fascists on the Ebro River. Uh, it, it was actually smashed, and he ended up uh, spending a month in the hospital, during which time he was on morphine, which turned him into a junkie for the next 30 years, which is how he had kind of spent uh, his time in, in Chicago after coming back from the war. Um, but he eventually cleaned up and got this job as the janitor at the quiet night. And he and Bruce became very good friends and, and kept in touch over the years. Until one day, uh, Bruce got this phone call informing him that Eddie had passed away. So he wrote this song that I'm about to do. <laughs> called Eddie's Song that he wrote as a, a memorial to Eddie. And a couple of weeks after he wrote the song, he got a call from Eddie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and Bruce said, he said, Eddie, where are you calling from? <laughs> and, and Eddie said, Chicago. And he said, ah, Chicago, dead. It's all the same to me. <laughs> but, but apparently Eddie really liked this song. <laughs> Standing in your shadows, afraid to go outside I could listen to your music all night long But the world keeps on changing, there's still no place to hide And I know that we can't change it with a song One hand on the keyboard, the moonlight fills the room one hand on the Abro, no regrets One hand on tomorrow, reaching for the sun 
One hand on the sun that never sets The white cliffs of Gondesa Lie sleeping in the rain I guess some places always have their kings And now I hear you singing The forgotten songs of Spain I wish we could remember all those things one hand on the keyboard, the moonlight fills the room. One hand on the Abro, no regrets. One hand on tomorrow, reaching for the sun. One hand on the sun that never sets. I thought that I had trouble when I was on the loose <laughs> That must have been a carnival instead And now I hear our children, they're singing, what's the use? And they drop a little something for their head One hand on the keyboard, the moonlight fills the room one hand on the Abro, no regrets One hand on tomorrow, reaching for the sun One hand on the sun that never sets One hand on the sun that never sets song such a great story too <laughs> yeah you can't have that song without the story it wouldn't make any sense <laughs> <laughs> well i guess utah phillips wrote a few love songs too but uh he didn't like to sing them after he wrote them i guess he wrote them he said as a matter of house cleaning <laughs> But there's some really pretty ones, and um, I heard Rosalie Sorrell sing this song. It's called I Think of You. To see the wildflowers blooming And wonder why they seem so plain The springtime rides all the brown hills over Young birds sing in a summer rain I think of you as the night rolls by on my mind the whole day through far away in a lonesome city all the time you're gone I think of you and when my world has turned to sunlight and the dust clouds stand in the summer sky I'll number all the climbing roses Watch to see the milkweed fly I think of you as the night rolls by You're on my mind the whole day through Far away in a lonesome city, all the time you're gone, 
I think of you. slip by like light snow falling or dry brown leaves blown by my door I think of you as the night rolls by you're on my mind the whole day through far away in a lonesome city all the time you're gone, I think of you. Right, next uh, tune I'm gonna play here is um, Queen of the Rails, a dog and hobo song. And uh, I guess there's kind of a little moral in this uh, tune. Uh, in the lyric, it talks about how the guy in the song named Boomer crosses a train that's parked in the yard that they're making up. Um, you know, they put the cars together. And he crosses the coupling joints, you know, where the train cars connect. And uh, they bump uh, a new train or a new car into the train as he's crossing it. Uh, the lesson is... If you need to cross through the yard while they're making up a train, you need to get to the other side of that train for some reason. Go around. Walk around. Um. I guess his name was Boomer Bill. If that won't do, another will. A hobo doesn't need a name. He never gets no mail. The only friend old Boomer had to ride with him through good and bad was a shaggy little mongrel he called the Queen of the Rails. Black smoke choo-choo's gone away, bumming it's just not the same. Dreams are few and far between, but memories seldom fail. Waiting down there by the track for her master to come back, you can count on seeing that old dog called Queen of the Rails. The boomer roamed the Rio Grande, the Santa Fe, and he never planned where he'd be from day to day, the jungle or the jail. But when the snow was falling down, he'd catch a California bound with a little dog to keep him warm, old queen of the rails. Black smoke choo-choo's gone away, bumming it's just not the same. Dreams are few and far between, but memories seldom fail. Waiting down there by the track for her master to come back. You can count on seeing that old dog called Queen of the Rails. One day he went to get a bone, left his little pal alone. He crossed the coupling joints of a train that blocked the yard. Well, they switched a reefer off the main, humped it into Boomer's train. He fell and died beneath the iron wheels, so cold and hard. Black smoke choo-choo's gone away, bumming it's just not the same. Dreams are few and far between, but memories seldom fail. Waiting down there by the track for her master to come back. You can count on seeing that old dog called Queen of the Rails. 
Black smoke choo-choo's gone away Bumming, it's just not the same Dreams are few and far between But memories seldom fail If there's a place for some old friend Who waits until the journey's end Then Boomer, he'll be glad to see Old Queen of the Rails Queen of the Rails Queen of the Rails Seems that the dogs always do better <laughs> when it comes to hobos and dogs. I'd like to thank the Broom Bistro for having us. Guy, for doing the sound, we really appreciate coming out and uh, sharing my father's work with you all. We're going to do one of the last songs my father wrote. Anybody that knows my father knows he learned most everything he knows from his elders and the people before. And um, I called the website and the work that I do with my father's work the long memory because he didn't want us to forget the lessons that, the hard lessons that people fought and died for in the past. So this is one of the last songs he wrote. It's called Ship's Gonna Sail, and we're gonna do it for you here tonight. Soldier to truth said, ain't I a woman? Ship's gonna sail, gonna sail someday. Mother John said, no child labor. Ship's gonna sail, gonna sail someday. Joe Hill said, don't mourn, organize. Ship's gonna sail, gonna sail someday. Gene Deb said, while there's a soul in prison. Ship's gonna sail, gonna sail someday. Working on a ship. May never sail on ships, gonna sail, gonna sail someday. Working on a ship, may never sail on, gonna build it anyway. Maurice Sugar said, sit down, sit down. Ships gonna sail, gonna sail someday. Cesar Chavez said, viva la huelga. Ships gonna sail, gonna sail someday. Martin Luther King said, I have a dream. Ships gonna sail, gonna sail someday. Malcolm X said, power to the people. Ships gonna sail, gonna sail someday. Working on a ship. May never sail on ships, gonna sail, gonna sail someday. Working on a ship, may never sail on, gonna build it anyway. Dorothy Day said, swords in the plowshare. Ships gonna sail, gonna sail someday. Judy Berry said, no compromise. Ships gonna sail, gonna sail someday. Phil Bergen said, no more atom bombs. Ships gonna sail, gonna sail someday. Utah Phillips said, sing through the hard times. Ships gonna sail, gonna sail someday. Working on a ship. May never sail on ships, gonna sail, gonna sail someday. Working on a ship, may never sail on, gonna build it anyway. Well, they've all gone and we're still building ships, gonna sail, gonna sail someday. With hand and heart, mind and muscle, ships gonna sail, gonna sail someday. Working on a ship. May never sail on ships, gonna sail, gonna sail someday. Working on a ship, may never sail on, gonna build it anyway. Good night.